Hello Taurus and thank you for coming to my channel. This is Indigo at Indigo Goddess 1111. Um, today I am bringing you your weekly um, Twin Flame Soulmate Read. This will be for the days of Jan or January 4th through the 11th, 2018. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, with the new year I'm doing a new spread. It'll be a five card general spread. I will do a five card um, love reading for uh, singles and couples. So, the spirit and angels, can I get any messages for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the days of four, uh, January 4th to the 11th, 2018? What do they need to know? What do they get to know in general for our Taurus friends? Okay, so, excuse me just one second. <sighs> Sorry, I just had to get my absorbing crystals. So, okay. Let's see what... Spirit has to say about these. Okay, so your first card, Taurus, for this week is the Queen of Cups. This card represents what is going on in your work life. Um, the with the Queen of Cups, you are established. You're well. You're uh, well known in your profession. You um, are the boss, or you could own your own company or a supervisor. You're in a leading position. Um, people come to you for answers. People come to you for a service of some sort. Um, and yeah, you're very, you're very successful in what you do as far as work. Um, the second card is your home card. And this, um, Spirit is saying for you, Tauruses, for one, you're feeling emotionally drained. Um, when the star is in reverse, she's pouring out her pictures, but nothing is, nothing is coming back into her. So, um, you could be feeling emotionally drained, but... You're getting frustrated because things at home aren't quite going the way you would like them to, the way you want them to. Um, you could be facing, um, you have to excuse me, I have a horrible cold, I'm just getting over being sick, but so if I'm sniffling a bunch, I apologize. But um, you are hoping for something different. You could be having troubles with a spouse or a loved one or a um, maybe children, You're, there's issues with children at home, but it will, it is going to straighten itself out is what spirit says. Um, when the star is in reverse, to me, it signifies that our wishes are going to come true. It's just that where we're at right now, the universe can't, can't give us our wish, can't give us what we want because it's not where we're meant to be. And that's, the message I got for that. Um, and let's see. The, th the third card is the um, unexpected. So this is any, you know, surprises or, or unexpected events that may come up in your life. And this is the chariot in reverse. So um, you could be refusing to move on from a situation, from someone's, from something. Um, or there's no movement. You're not you're not moving forward in the way you would like. This could be in your career. And your role in this, this represents your mood and your actions, your reactions. Um, you are very passionate about what you do in life. Um, 
you could be one of the best at what you do. You um, embrace it with having the Queen of Cups as your work card and then your uh, your role card of the Ace of Wands. You are very passionate about what you do every day. You put your whole heart into it and you truly believe in what you do. Um, the outcome, uh, this shows the outcome of your week. It predicts a lesson learned or a spiritual revelation. And somebody's keeping the tower from falling. Somebody is keeping something from happening. You know it's coming. And for some reason, you're trying to keep it from not happening. I'm going to clarify here with a gilded tarot. Um, and with the tour or with the tower, the chariot, and the star all in reverse, you know that your wish come true is not currently where you're at. But I'm not sure why you're trying to keep the tower from falling because after it falls, then then you're going to be able to start with the life that you are intended to have. Right now, you could be in a lesson, a karmic lesson, could be in a karmic cycle. Spirit and angels, can I get a clarifying card? Here we go. Look at that. The tower. The tower flew out of there. Um, and then the Ten of Cups. So, can I also get one for the Ace of Wands and the Chariot in reverse, please? Okay, so let's see what do we got here. So the Six of Cups in reverse is clarifying your um, Ace of Wands. And... You could be partnered up with somebody that you've known all your life. Um, and this is in, you know, work life, anything other than love. Because I will do love with the uh, with a different deck. But so you could be partnered up with somebody from your past, somebody you've known since childhood, um, a sibling, some someone that you are very close with. Um and you guys are going to, you guys are going to set out on a new adventure is what I'm getting. Um, you're going to start something new and it's going to be successful. Spirit is saying your, the star card, your home life is affecting this. Um, you're wanting the 10 of cups and right now you're not getting it because something at home with this being your home sector, something is, is standing in the way of your wish come true. And that's because you're not where you're supposed to be right now, Taurus. Um, no, Chariot is not moving because the Fool is in reverse. See, if it were that way, the Chariot would move on the single card and you'd have a new beginning. But they are both in reverse. And the, they are both in reverse because the Tower hasn't fallen yet. But it's going to. It's going to this week's uh, Taurus is what I see. So just be um, just be mindful of that, that it's coming. You know, prepare yourself. I Let me see if I can see any further of what this is for. The good thing is, is at work, I mean, you've got the Ace of Cups with the Queen of Cups. You're very passionate about what you do. Um, very passionate. And you are so good at it. And you... And, you, you know, you affect so many people, whether it be, you know, um, a doctor to a, you know, anything like somebody that works at the grocery store or, you know, um, the guy that mows your lawn, like anything, any job that you do, you make people happy because your interaction with them. You you do a profession where you interact with people. Um, it could be anything from, you know, a hairdresser to a, to a massage therapist to a nurse to, um, you know, anything where you sit and talk to people while you're providing a service. I'm seeing it's more like the home and body or the body, like, you know, like a, like a hairdresser or a massage therapist, um, 
an esthetician, something where you are working on them, their looks, their body, making them feel better. Um, that's who that message is for. Um, you just absolutely love what you do. Um, let's see here, Taurus. You, this tower has something to do with, um, just saying one more card for this tower. Oh, right there. Yep. Okay. So, clarifying this tower. Let me just get my messages here. Okay, so Taurus. This card, which is the card of um, your outcome. Something at home is not right. Something at home is affecting your work life. It's affecting every part of your life. So in order for you to, um, gain that, you know, that 10 of cups and to flip, get that star turned up, um, you have to deal with whatever's going on at home. And that's something that you're avoiding happening. It is going to, um, have a shakeup this week. Something has to fall and be brought down to the ground before you can build a solid foundation on it and, and use the chariot and the fool and your star and your ten of cups. This is all like being kept because this tower isn't falling. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, this is somebody in your home life. So if you are coupled or married to a Virgo, um, the hermit is here. So, um, I see that you have been reflecting Taurus and you have been knowing that this isn't, you're not going to be together with this person forever. Um, and with the four of wands in reverse, it's a, it's an unhappy marriage. Um, it's not a bad marriage. It's just not emotionally, physically, you know, mentally. Um, it's not satisfying in the ways that a divine partnership should be or a divine partnership is. So spirit is encouraging you to let the tower fall and to move on. And this week you're going to gain some clarity in this situation. So you are going to find out some truths about this Virgo or could be, you know, anyone you're dealing with doesn't have to be a Virgo. Um, but for a large majority, it is let that tower fall as hard as it is. Um, it's going to affect that every at every other aspect of your life. Um, this relationship is honestly kind of bringing you down as far as, you know, your work, your friends, your social life, your, because you're just, um, you're just not really emotionally happy. You're, um, yeah. Spirit's just saying to let that, let things happen in divine timing let things happen as they will so okay let's move on to our love reading um we will do singles first single taurus sun moon rising and venus the week of the 4th through the 11th of 2018 spirit and angels what messages do you have for our single tauruses the moon rising in Venus. The Emperor could be done with an Aries, or you could have just broken up with an Aries. Seven of Swords. Okay. So we got the Emperor as your main card. So you could um, have just ended something with somebody, and you are really going to take a step back and regain your strength, regain, regain your self-confidence because there was, um, could have been cheating here, um, in the past. So you're really emotionally torn up about that. Um, you are really hurt and, uh, and feel betrayed, but there is justice here. So you will, whatever is fair, you, it will come to you. Um, the scales are going to balance out. And, um, 
And yeah, I'm getting for a group of you, you are in separation going through a divorce caused by um, an extramarital affair, either by you or your spouse. But the, the divorce is going to work out fairly and you have nothing to worry about is what spirit is saying. Um, this could have been somebody from your childhood that you have been together for, you know, most of your adult life. Um, and it was, it wasn't an easy decision to leave. It took you quite a while, um, with the hangman in reverse. And you kind of felt if you were the one that was cheated on, you kind of felt like stalkerish. If you were the one being cheated on, or if you were the one cheating, your spouse knew. Um, yeah, so you got the six of wands here. So you are going to, you are going to um, be okay. You are going to move into a relationship. Uh, could be possible fire sign. What else we got here? Or air sign. So, um just take time to heal. Yeah. You're going to get a lot more truth is going to be coming out about this, that, uh, this relationship that either you had or your, uh, person you're in separation from, there's going to be a lot that's going to be uncovered. Um, and you are going to give up the fight with the nine of wands in reverse. You're not going to fight anymore. You're going to let, let it this end. And the Six of Swords in reverse. So, yeah. Yeah, you're going to be just fine, Taurus. Singles, um, those of you who are in separation from your uh, partner due to an affair, um, stay strong. Those truths are coming out um, if you are the one that was stepped out on. Um, but you're going to be just fine. You are going to start seeing other people. Um, nothing too serious. Um, while you heal and I see by February, um, people in that group by February, you will be seeing somebody else. So exclusively dating and married couples in the Taurus. We have so far the night of, or the knave of chalices in reverse and the seven of chalices in reverse. Okay. And then we have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Experience, tell me, look at the bottom of the deck. There's temperance. So some of you may need to be bringing balance back into your relationship. Um, with the name of Chalice, you can see how he's, well, maybe you can see it. He's angry. Um, he's upset. Um, he's frustrated. So somebody in your marriage, either you, Taurus, or you, whoever you are partnering with, you are no longer letting that energy affect you. You are kind of mellowing out. Um, there was an affair. You can see in the window with the moon lighting up the couple. And this is the person that is being stepped out on. You, Taurus, I'm seeing that this is you. Your partner stepped out on you. And, yeah, it was your partner. For sure. Um, the two of swords. And now you have a choice to make. You're no longer letting anger and frustration though, like blind you to what he did or she. And um, with the two of swords here, you have a choice to make in your past. You were, uh, you were confused about the lies, the deceit, five of swords. So yeah, um, you felt betrayed and with the King of Pentacles in your future, um, you don't know if you're going to give this. I you see you're coupled with an earth sign. I, you don't know if you're going to give this person a second chance. The Wheel of Fortune is here in reverse. So somebody, yeah, see that card? Um, th there is your, your partner... Or you, Taurus, um, more than likely still has this affair going on. And the Ace of Swords is in reverse. So you're, you're really confused because you thought 
you didn't even realize there was anything wrong with the Ten of Pentacles here. And here's the Justice card again in this spread too. So um, it's going to, I don't see um, people splitting up this week, but I do see a lot of truth being exposed and, um, and possible um, separations. So um, Taurus, I just encourage you to stay strong and um, to keep the faith and spread the love and light and everything will be okay because every ending is a blessing with a new beginning so with the twin flame um unions happening all over the place there's a lot of endings with karmic partners so if this is ending let it end because that means that this is not your not meant for you not your twin flame not your forever mate um, because there is a lot of endings going on right now. So, so unions can happen. So I want to thank you guys all for coming to my channel. I, um, want to tell you how much I appreciate you for your likes, comments, shares, um, your patience with me in the last month, as well as my path throughout this journey. Um, it seems to, it seems there for a while, if it wasn't one thing, it was another. And I was starting to even question if this is what I should be doing, but um, after the last couple of weeks of uh, reflect, reflecting while I was uh, quite ill, um, I got a lot of new downloads and my vision is clearer than ever. So it's kind of crazy how that works, how the universe, um, how the universe puts that into play. So thank you all for your patience and I love you all and I hope you have a beautiful week.